One of the one of the really distinctive things about law is that it deals with um, the um, whole range of human experience and the way in which humans interact with each other. And because there are no um, simple answers to questions, the questions themselves may not have right answers. There's normally not a right and a wrong answer, instead there's a better or a worse answer. And whether it's better or worse often depends on which perspective you have on it, what interests are affected. So uh, feedback for us in law is constant. Um, every answer um, to a question from a teacher or every question uh, that's answered from a student that's answered by a teacher is a form of feedback and it's this constant feedback loose. And, and of course it's not to say that we're in a values free environment where every answer is as valid as every other answer. There are clearly situations where there are answers that are right and there are answers that are clearly wrong. And um, but they are right and wrong within um, predetermined canons of interpretation. And so because what you're doing then is essentially um, training the students or encouraging the students to develop expertise, the type of feedback that you have to give them is also feedback about expertise. And so you can't really give them simple reductionist um, rubrics about you got this right, you got that wrong, because it's really the a question where the, the sum is greater than, um, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. So um, providing feedback, particularly for extended um, forms of writing such as uh, research essays, requires um, both um, a detailed sort of textual um, feedback based on the way in which arguments are structured throughout the text, but also at the end a more discursive form of feedback, uh, which helps to try to give the students a sense of how their, how their sort of sophistication uh, ranks against other students' sophistication in terms of their development of, of arguments and integration of different sources. And I think also it, it's really important for the students themselves to see examples of um, better and poorer work so that they can put themselves in a, in a broader context.